Hey guys, it's Keith from HomeRite, and today I want to compare our new grow light system using these Barina lights to our original system that was using these fight lights. So these are the lights that we've been using for the last three years. These are the feet or the fight, not quite sure how to pronounce it. Um, LED two foot full spectrum lights. These things are 19 watts, 3300 Kelvin, and 1200 lumen. The cost right now, I believe, is about $45 online or over at Home Depot. Um, when we had gotten them three years ago, I think they were only about $35. So, as everything else, they've definitely things have gone up in price. But each one of these lights has an on-off switch. And a plug on one side and then on the other side it's got an outlet so you can end up linking I think they say you can link up to eight lights in one so that's kind of convenient to have and then also it comes with two of these hooks here so installs really pretty easy and simple right out of the box these lights have worked out real well for us but the only drawback for us is that they really only provide about three square feet of lighting for our seedlings. With the large expansion we put on the garden this year, we needed to go get some more lights. So after doing a bunch of research and well, working also within the budget that we wanted to spend, we ended up opting for these, which are Barina, they're actually shop lights, they're Barina T5 LED single fixture shop lights. Each one of these lights is 20 watts, 6500 Kelvin, and 2200 Lumen. They come in a pack of six online for about $55. And they include, I mean, you're going to get six of these, each one, I'm only showing one, but you're going to get six of these connectors, six of these plugs with the on-off switch on it, um, here's the mounting hardware that they include. You only need two per light. And then they've got some other options here if you need it, meaning this connector here is if you want to just put a whole row across of lights without uh, using the cord. Um, these are just some little plugs for if you don't need to fill in one of the you know, spots for a cord. And then they've got an option to hardwire it. Now on each side of these lights, You'll see they got the connections, so options are kind of limitless as to what you can do. They say you can connect up to eight lights. The only other thing that I bought separately that wasn't included was this cable cord here, which this is four feet long, so when I was m connecting the lights between the shelves, this one that does get included, which is 16 inches long, was not long enough for when we went from one shelf down to the shelf below it. So these here were just a separate buy. I think I got a 10-pack of them for around $20, $25. The only thing about these lights is that you got to do some DIY to create a way to hang them. As I said, they're shop lights intended to take these type of clips and just mount them onto a joist or the sheetrock and then all you're simply doing is clipping those in. So with us using them for grow lights what we ended up doing, if I could get that off, what we ended up doing was taking those clips and we mounted it onto half inch PVC tubing and then used some S hooks and some chains and that's working for us. I've seen a lot of different options out there and no one way is necessarily better than another but the half inch PVC tubing is working out great for us. This is our first indoor greenhouse we've been using. The shelving kit is something you can get online and it comes in a variety of different sizes. This one's 64 inches tall, 36 inches wide and 19 inches deep. Uh, the shelving unit along with those type of lights, these fight lights, this is going to run you about $225 and using these type of lights you're only going to really get about 12 square feet 
of growing space. Even though the shelves are a little bit bigger and I'm not sure if the camera is going to do justice, but once you go out toward these sides, especially when they're seedlings and you got to keep those lights a little bit lower, it just doesn't get the same lighting on the sides and you'll find, and as we have found, the seedlings have a tendency to bend in toward the light so we're always constantly shifting them around and moving them. So anyways, it's a great system. It's worked out fantastic for us in years past, but as I said, with us expanding our garden, we just needed to get some more lights. So this is our new setup for the upcoming year. We bought a metal shelving unit with casters. It's 84 inches tall, 4 feet wide, and 18 inches deep. It comes with six shelves that are all adjustable, so you can design it to what works best for you. We're using only five of the shelves for us, but growing on four. The fifth shelf here is just to hold the light up. But this setup here with the lights and the chains and everything ended up costing us approximately $250 it'll give us about 24 square feet of growing space for our seedlings. Here's the DIY I was telling you about. We ended up connecting the lights to that half inch PVC tubing using those mounting hardware and then just some, well I got an eye hook here connected to S hook and chains so we can adjust these lights as we need to as the plants are growing and then also here on the side you can see those 16 inch cables to connect the wire, the lights together and then this is the longer four foot cord I was telling you about just so that we have enough room for adjustments between the shelves. Down here you'll see there's the plug and we end up using two plugs because I just hooked six lights up to each setup and then those plugs will just go into a timer on the side. Finally, I've got, because these things are so bright, we cut some of this Luon here. I just drilled some holes on the side and then we just put them in to where the PVC tubing sticks out a little bit and so that way when we come in here we're not getting blinded. The other thing we did, because we ended up buying two of these units, is I took this one here and just wrapped it in plastic just to keep the temperature where we want. Typically our house is at 67 degrees and we were kind of hoping to keep that temperature in there somewhere around 72 to 74 if we can. So we just took some plastic and used some clothespins on the side to keep it closed. So I know it's a little early to be starting seedlings, but we wanted to do a comparison and see how these Barina lights hold up and compare to the feet lights that we've been using for the last few years. So here's the tomatoes under the fight lights. It is January 22nd. And the second set of tomatoes under the barina lights. Here's the second set of the fight tomatoes. And here's the tomatoes under the barina. Here's the third tray. I have Broccoli, cabbage, some kale, a little bit of beets, and in the back is some chard and lettuce. These are under the fight lights. And the same tray under Barina. Only difference is there is a sweet pea in the back, but pretty much the trays are identical. And tray number four, here's peppers. And across here on the side is some um, Aunt Molly and Cossack tomatoes. And the comparison under the Barina lights.
Alright, let's do a side by side comparison. This is tray one, fight on this side, barina on this side. I'm not seeing any difference really yet in the growing of the side by sides. Both look the same to me. Tray two, fight lights on the left, barina on the right. These are all tomatoes. And again, I am not seeing any difference in the growth of these tomatoes. And here's the comparison of tray three. Over here is the fight lights on the left, barina lights on the right. Uh, they're pretty much identical trays. They're almost identical. On the left is the cabbage, I'm sorry, the broccoli, then there's some cabbage, a little bit of kale, a little bit of beets, and then some chard and lettuce in the back. I do have one uh, sweet pea on the right tray that needs to go out into the garden soon. Um, but I, again, I don't see any big comparison differences with the grow lights with these two trays. And the last comparison is tray four. Fight lights on the left, marina lights on the right. My peppers and the ground cherries. Again, peppers and ground cherries. I don't see a difference really in the lights, but I did not have as good germination. So you will see on some of these that actually say DS because I had to direct sow those. But I had the same on both sides, so we will see. But so far, I really don't see a difference in growth with the two different grow, grow lights at this point. The biggest difference that I noticed is that these Barina lights, I get a lot more growing space. So if you want to probably get the best bang for your buck for about $60, I got 12 square feet with those Barina lights where for about $45, I only ended up with about three square feet of growing space. So yeah. if you can handle it a little DIY, I'd recommend those Barinas right now. If um, you have the space, if you have the space or the, the Barina. If yeah. you don't have a lot of space, the Fight Lights work. Fight Lights really or there's, there's a whole bunch of them out there, but yeah. we're only comparing the two. So that's all we can really base our knowledge on with that. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate Sorry, it. Sorry, I'm not supposed to leave the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I interrupted you. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments. If you're doing the same type of comparison or something different, let us know what you guys are doing. Thanks again for watching. See ya.